Okay, this is the molecular motion demonstrator, an old piece of machine that just vibrates the sides. And we're looking at two different gases here. The black bead represents a heavier gas, and the blue beads represent a lighter, uh, smaller gas. And because kinetic energy is equal to one-half the mass times the velocity squared, we can make some simple understandings here that the heavier gas with the same kinetic energy has to move at slower velocities. In fact, Graham's law of diffusion states that gases will fill a container spread out, and he said that rate of diffusion is inversely related to the square root okay, of its mass. Very simply, the heavier gas moves slower and spreads out slower. The lighter gas will move faster for the same temperature, have a greater translational speed. In any case, let me turn the machine on and see if that actually will happen. And you should be able to see that the blue beads clearly are, have a greater range of motion. The black beads are definitely the heavy gas moving slower. That's pretty simple to see. Now we're going to uh, uh, change this up a little bit, and it's probably pretty intuitive that if I was to take these gases, okay, move them to one side, add a contain, add a uh, divider with a little slit, okay, and now we're going to see how fast the gases will effuse out the opening, and it should make sense to you the heavier gas moving slower for the same energy, okay. Um, should effuse out, well, slower than the faster gas. Let's see. So we can see that the lighter gas effused out the hole faster than the black gas. Now, you may say, Mr. Grotsky, that black gas doesn't fit. Sure it does. It's just that it's moving slower, okay? And that little bead moving faster finds that opening much, much easier, okay? So a nice example of Graham's law of effusion here, where the rate of escaping a thin opening is inversely related with its mass. And, of course, the lighter gas moving faster will, of course, escape that opening much easier.